Hi, welcome back to another episode of Teacher Brandy Tells All. Today we're going to be focusing on how to use base 10 blocks to represent decimal numbers. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's start um, representing decimals using base 10 blocks. So your child may see um, a problem that is represented like this. If this base 10 block, which is the hundreds flat, equals one whole, then what? So how do we represent the tenths, the hundredths, and then essentially the thousandths place when given that this base 10 block is now one? Where kids get uh, struggle is they cannot understand that this can be one. If I say it's one whole, then it's one whole. So if this represents one whole, this would be in the ones place. Then what your child needs to understand are those foundational skills for base 10 blocks. They need to understand that, well, if 100, what is one tenth of 100? Because essentially as you move down into the decimal places, the tenths are um, 10 times smaller than the uh, ones place, hundredths are 10 times smaller than the tenths place, and thousandths are 10 times smaller than hundredths place. So which of these base 10 blocks could you use to represent the tenths place in this situation? Well, which of these base 10 blocks is 10 times smaller than the hundredths flat? Well, if you divide the hundredths flat divided by 10, you're going to get 10. So you would use the 10 stick to represent the tenths place. Then you would ask yourself, okay, what would I use for the hundredths place? Well, if I divide um, the hundredths flat divided by 100, that gives me 1. So I would use my 1's cube to represent the hundredths place. You can also think about it as, oh, well, the hundredths place is actually 10 times smaller than the tenths place. So in my tenths place, I have the 10 stick in this situation. So 10 divided by 10 is one. So then we would look at this problem. Okay, if the 100s flat is equal to one whole and we're given this representation, how would we write this decimal number? Well, we would take a look. We have 100 flats in the ones place, so that would be one whole. And we would count how many 10 sticks we have. We have two in the tenths place, so that would go in our uh, the two would go in our tenths place. And then we have one one hundredth. So we would have one in the hundredths place. And you would read this decimal as one and twenty-one hundredths. Now let's move on to this scenario. Let's say that I now want to use the thousandths block as my one whole. And I can do that. I'm free to do that. So if I use the one thousandths block as my one whole, then the thousandths block will represent one whole. And then I simply divide. Hmm, what is 1,000 divided by 10? Oh, 1,000 divided by 10, because the tenths is 10 times smaller than the ones place, that's going to give me my one hundredths flat. Hmm, now let's move to the hundredths place. I can do this two ways. I can do, hmm, what is 1,000 divided by 100? And 1,000 divided by 100 is 10. So I would use the 10, 10 stick. You could also look at it, hmm, the hundredths place is 10 times smaller than the tenths place. So this hundredths flat divided by 10 is going to give me the 10, so 10 stick. And now we can use um, base 10 blocks to represent our thousandths place. And so we could look at it two ways here again. We can say one thousandths block divided by 1,000 would give me 1, so I would use my 1's cube. Or I can also know that the thousandths place is 10 times smaller than the hundredths place. So what is in my hundredths place is 10, so 10 divided by 10 would give me 1. So this is how we would build a number um, if we use the thousandths block to represent one whole. So let's try this. Let's write this decimal number here. Let's say that if the thousands block is one whole, how would we write this representation? We would take a look in our ones place. We have one thousands block, so we would have one whole. So one and, we have one tenth. 
we have two hundredths and we have four thousandths. So we would read this number as one and one hundred twenty-four thousandths. We always say the place value of where we ended in our decimal. We ended in the thousandths place, so we say thousandths at the end. Once your child has an understanding of this, then they can start to build their own numbers. So let's go back to this representation. If the hundredths flat is going to be one whole, then how would you build zero and 23 hundredths? So now we need to think, hmm, if this is going to be one whole, what base 10 block do I use to represent the tenths place? Well, 100 divided by 10 is going to give me 10, so I use the 10 stick. So I need two 10 sticks. Then I think about, hmm, my hundredths place. Well, 100 divided by 100 would give me 1. So I use my 1's cube, and I would need 3 of those. And that would give me 0 and 23 hundredths. I hope this video helped you understand how we can represent decimals using base 10 blocks. Um, if you need a refresher on using base 10 blocks to represent whole numbers, um, see my video for that. Um, give a like, leave a comment, and I hope you enjoyed.